Welcome back to Creative Wandering and our interesting life in Barcelona. After the vote on October 1st, it took about a day to get organized and then the people of Catalonia decided it was time to have another demonstration. This one, they took it up a notch and shut down transit, museums, certain businesses that were affected by transit. There was just sort of a mass slowdown the whole day of the Tuesday. We didn't know what to expect, so we were, along with many others, running on the grocery store, buying up days worth of provisions, which is all we could carry anyways, and heading home to hunker down and see how it all turned out. It turned out to be fine. It was just a demonstration of one day, a huge amount of displeasure based on what happened on the vote day, demonstration against the violence that the Spanish government, via the police, put onto the people. Then we heard that there was going to be another demonstration, this time pro-Spain or for Catalonians to stay in Spain, which would have been a no on the vote had those people gone out in force as much as they might have if the Spanish government hadn't have made the vote illegal. They took to the streets, covered in flags, both the Spanish flags and the Catalan flag, so not the independence flag, but the, just the Catalan flag. It was a huge turnout, beautiful sunny day, lots of people came out and reportedly came out across the region and even across. The region. We went and had a look at it. Again, we were warned by certain groups, uh, expat groups, to stay home, not get involved, but it was very peaceful. Um, it was just a pleasure to watch, actually. I haven't been involved in a political demonstration like this back in Canada ever. So it was really interesting to watch. It was very colorful and very passionate, which is something that I've come to expect from Barcelona and Spain in my time here. Afterwards, we took advantage of what happens on Sundays in a lot of museums here in Spain. Admission is free, so we took in the Maritime Museum. Lots of interesting displays. We got to look at a full-size galley, which is the kind of ships that were built in the Barcelona shipyard. You would not want to have been a prisoner or a person that was put in that situation against your will. I guess the lifespan was about two years. Horrible, horrible conditions for the rowers. Those are the kind of ships that were meant for the Mediterranean and Spain dominated the Mediterranean with the help of the shipbuilding industry here in Barcelona. It is not the ships I think of when I think of the west coast of North America where so many Spanish ships ended up. In fact, many places, uh, towns and areas and islands and whatnot are named um, after Spanish people from the ships that came later. So very interesting look at the maritime history of Barcelona. Thanks for watching. It's been another fascinating week living in Barcelona. Like and subscribe to get updates. See you soon.